Welcome back to another episode and uh, today I'm back working on the Hayabusa. So as I said on the last video, today we'll be fabricating a rear exhaust or uh, slip-on hanger. This is what I have at the moment. Um, well, I've already changed this bolt, but you'll see why. And um, the original hangers for the exhaust were these little uh, flimsy brackets. Um, and they serve the purpose, uh, many exhausts have them, but I think I will try to do something a little bit better. So these little flimsy brackets uh, come on every uh, exhaust possible. And there's nothing wrong with them if they are to be used with the original, um, well, in the original bike they are designed for, because I have this custom subframe and the custom rear end. I opted to use the K3, K4 GSXR pillion foot pegs. So the pillion foot pegs only have one mount for the exhausts, um, and I have two exhausts. So it requires me to have two mounting points, one on each side. I've spent quite a bit of time uh, today here in the garage looking and looking and trying to come with a solution. My first idea was to simply drill the foot peg through the back or through this side and uh, right in the center um, inside where the this little peg um, swivels right in the center there to drill a hole and put a bolt and a nut and put a bracket off of here. So it would be a very simple bracket um, that would come from there to there and I would put one bolt there, one bolt there and that would be it. Because the way this is, it means the bracket would literally be uh, on a flat level. So any little pressure on the exhaust itself it would just tilt the brackets down um, so I kept on thinking and thinking and I came up with the idea I think you're gonna like I done away with this little flimsy bracket altogether and I came up with the idea of a little bracket that will bolt as you see, there's a bolt in there uh, instead of the little pin um, that goes through with a circlip. So this is the original piece that comes on the foot pegs to hold the actual peg. I removed this piece and I placed a M6 shouldered um, X bolt and it's just perfect. I came up with the idea of using a bracket like this. This bracket will fit in the side of this uh, can. I will simply drill a couple of holes and put some um, rivets. So then we'll come up, so straight up, we'll align with, uh, with the foot peg and then we'll bend 
and then we'll have a mounting hole to this bolt. So that was my first idea. This is only tin aluminium with a pressure that could occur on the exhausts for any reason would pull the rivets straight out. I thought why not put a double sided that will fit to this um, exhaust can just like so. This is the look that the bracket will have and hopefully will give it a stunning look. Here it is guys, a bit of cardboard, a bit of design. So I have this big piece of 2.5mm thick, uh, so this will be plenty strong for the application, maybe a bit overkill, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm going to use. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spend a little bit more time making sure this is the right design and this is what I'm going for and I'm just going to transfer it to the metal, um, cut it off and um, align it all properly, weld it and fit it to the bike. So after a little bit more fiddling, here I have the final design and consists of two parts. One uh, is a slightly smaller one and uh, we'll join to the second one which is a bigger one. So it's a mirror image from the bottom side. Um, then at the top we'll have a bend. So this little piece will bend. We'll have a hole. And this is what will bolt to the foot peg. So now I'm just going to mark him onto my piece of metal and cut him up. Alright guys, so I finalized the brackets and this is what they look like. Um, I've mounted them on one of the cans uh, so that I can uh, weld them up. Just put some electrical tape, it's gonna melt for sure, but should be um, enough to just tuck him up. So I want to show you that I did score the big bracket, this ones and this one, the bigger ones. I cut it not all the way through, but half the way through, um, to be able to bend them. And you can see there. Hopefully, uh, maybe from here you can see if it focus. There we go. You can see in there. 
you can see the idea of what's going on so I made a mistake you can see there's two holes here on the top this one was way too high so I had to draw a second one a bit low but once I start welding I will uh, plug weld this hole um, there's another one here underneath the tape so anyway so I'm gonna get the welder out which is out already and I'm gonna start tucking up um, all the brackets I'll show you the result in just a second Alright guys, so from a couple of pieces of uh, cardboard, that's what I managed to create. So two little brackets like that, that will fit at the end of the can. And once again, good knit welds. Um, so getting better so now all I gotta do is get the cans and these little brackets will fit in it just like so um, so all I gotta do is drill a couple holes on this um, end can and fit some rivets uh, through it so you can hold it there's no comeback now so I gave the brackets a quick coat of black just so they look a little bit better, a bit more presentable and I'm going to be using Easy Gasket so it's basically silicon that is high temperature resistant um, so this should help with um, not having any sort of uh, leaks through these holes. There it is guys, um, got there this afternoon with the idea of creating a new type of um, exhaust hangers or exhaust brackets and i done it. I hope you enjoyed, remember if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment if you have any ideas or if you want to just chat. Um, or if you see something that's not quite right uh, and you'd like to help me um, and that's it um, next one will be fiberglass on this back end uh, and we'll make it as a one piece finally just waiting for the fiberglass and resin to arrive and I will get stuck into it so until next time take it easy ride safe and I see you then. Ciao.